Hi, Kay Franklin here, and I've just purchased this drag and drop illustrator software tool because it's on a special offer at the moment, only $27, which I think is an amazing price for what it can do. Now, um, I've got it really for creating uh, ebook covers, Kindle book covers, uh, diagrams within books. Uh, I, I've got a few children's books that I really wanted to to uh, produce, publish at least, but I didn't have any illustrator so this could solve that problem for me so I've bought it and I just wanted to show you quickly what it can do now I've only literally just bought it and I've uploaded it I've um, just kind of fiddle around just for about a few minutes so that I don't waste too much time showing you what it can do basically you can click on here and you'll be able to download a whole load of backgrounds and other things like that that you'll be able to use but to give you an idea of how easy it is to use, I, I want to um, show you this little character thing here. Now, if you click on here, you can create your own characters. And this is exactly what I was looking for when it comes to um, my children's books that I wanted to publish. Um, this is really good. Look, you can change the... Um, it's highlighted on body. So when I click here, it's changing the body. Yeah, I can change the type of body. I can hide the body, <laughs> bring it back again. I can rotate the body round. Look, I can rotate it around that way. I can put the body up, make it bigger, I mean. I can uh, make it smaller. <laughs> I can even twist it round so uh, it's the other way. And this little button here is just the hands you can have with or without hands. Okay, so then you can... Uh, do the head you can uh, do different heads if you want you can do exactly the same thing here look change that let's have a look at the monster because um this is quite cool uh, you can do exactly the same with the monster as well uh, just click along here to change the type you can again rotate you can make it smaller uh, bigger you can you know do the mouth let's twist that round the other way yeah you can hide the mouth and once you're happy with your little design um you can do the right arm the left arm you can save it here and if we pick a name um i'll just call it monster one okay so it saves what you've created um there was a little one i tested out before and it puts your saved characters here now you you basically just click drag and drop that's why it's called drag and drop i guess and and this is then when you can start playing with it okay so here it is i can um you know twist it around like this i can stretch it if you look at these filter things here i can create a black and white version i could invert the colors which goes really really weird i can create a drop shadow I could blur it um glow doesn't uh, show anything it's probably to do with the colors I've got a bevel here oh, and if we um, we can do something even more detailed with these if we click on this look so you you can do absolutely loads with it um, now obviously I wanted to be able to do some kind of fancy text as well so if we click on this tool here we get a text tool so if I just put um, test uh, I'll just write test. Now, if we look along the bottom there, we can change the color of the text. So let's make it red. Yeah, we can um, increase the size. What I like is that I don't have to go in here and highlight it. So it will mean that, um, you know, everything in that box there will be changed according to what you put on here. OK, this is fancy. Look, if I click here, I get a cloud and that's where the background is color comes in so if I wanted it white I would do that if I wanted it green I could do that what else have I got a sign okay you can create a sign instead uh, vertical alignment um, you know wherever you want it uh, center it so that's handy uh, we've got bold italics we've got you know the type of um, let's see what that font looks like you've got all these different fonts okay so we've got all of this here and 
let's just see if these work, these filter things work on the text. Ha, they do. Yeah, brilliant. So I can have a drop shadow on the text. Let's remove this sign to uh, none. Um, actually, can't really see the uh, drop shadow colour. Let's change that drop shadow colour to uh, a blue. Yeah, then we can see it. So these little filter settings also work on the text as well. So imagine what you can do with this. Creating Kindle book covers. Uh, I, I already use the um, Laughing Bird software for that. But this, uh, I have to say, I think is going to be more useful than that particular software. Certainly when it comes to doing illustrations and creating images within uh, books, Kindle books, and um, and also just fun little things. Uh, my daughter will love playing around with this. Um, and, and it's only $27 at the moment. So I just wanted to show you this because I think it's a fantastic deal. Uh, don't forget, you can, um, you will be able to download. Um, I haven't done it yet because I've only just bought it, but you can download a whole load of backgrounds as well, so that you can create, you know, fantastic um, backgrounds with your little characters on, um, and and other types of uh, vector images. You'll you'll be able to use with this as well. But I haven't done that yet because that's going to take some time. And I wanted to get this out to you so you could see, uh, you know what it can do. Um, I think it's really good. Now, I don't know when the special offer ends. It might be towards the end of this week. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you click the link below, then you can find out whether the offer is still on.